show. Uh, it's my second show I've done with uh, Amy, and uh, I can see the development. And as you, many of you know, Amy is an architect, so I asked my great friend, Colin Eaton, who's also an architect and artist, to open the show. Please give him a good welcome. <laughs> but I'm not going to read them. <laughs> <laughs> it might be too long. So, both of us are architects, and one of the things that Eamon spoke about is his emotional response and the sense of place and how he tends to paint in realism and paint landscape with buildings which are quite ordinary, except for this one, which is quite extraordinary, the graphic <laughs> architect department of finance, but generally buildings which are quite ordinary. And, and I started thinking then, well, that is part of his architectural training as well. You know, we have a blank page, a blank site, a blank canvas, and what do you do with that? And the funny thing, you know, you often hear a client might say to you, should that suddenly an old drawing? I wouldn't be paying for that. Your man on the television did that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's soul destroying, but it happens. And the same thing happens with painting, actually, you know, that's only a dot on a page, anyone could do that. But actually, it happens when you go to the mechanic. Sure, he just hit the piston there and he charged me 80 quid. And what I say then is, well, why didn't you do it? Did you, you know, it's, it's actually hours, weeks, months, years, training, dedication, trial and error. So what you're looking at on the wall here is a response to a blank canvas. Years of dedication, talent, and training. That then becomes manifest as a piece of art. And it's just breathtaking to see so much of it on the wall. And if you look in particular then, one of my favourites is the one on the right here with the black and white. And when Eamon spoke to me previously about his work, and spoke about the Italian chiaroscura, and you can see in that there's the dark, the heavy, heavy, heavy dark, and then the brightness. And there's a contrast between light and dark, between foreground and background. And also then you can see that he's divided, as an architect would. So, you know, they always say, once you're an architect, you're always one. It never does leave you. Sometimes it actually tries to, as we've known recently. But in that I can see that he's divided the planes. You can see the front, the back, the plan, the section. And there's, there's just a, a wonderful, an actual sense of place. And this one here behind Patrick, <laughs> the Guinness, which is close to, to where I live. And what I love about that is there's, there's a part of Eamon's work which he speaks of uh, in texture. And you can think of a brick, and you just lift a simple brick and think, well, that's just a brick. But the great architect Louis Kahn, Estonian American architect, once said, the sun never knew how great it was until it hit the side of a building, which I always thought was quite nice. Uh, a good building, obviously, designed by an architect. <laughs> and, and in this one, there's a simple, humble brick, which became an industrial building, which brought the humble brick to, to something as magnificent as this industrial architecture that you'll see in Dublin 8. And then, parallel with that, Eamon has taken his tools which is the tube of paint acrylic in this um, case, and his knife. And there's an actual texture, which to me resembles the flakiness of the brick of that building. So not only is there a sense of place, there's a sort of physicality in the actual painting, which, which I enjoy as well. And behind us here then, what I love is, I suppose, Edward Hopper, which you all know that very famous one, you know, they're all sitting at the bar and you wonder, am I the spectator or am I actually part of it? You know, there's the lookers, the onlookers. And this one, you can see the fireplace with the stairs behind it. There's the person sitting there. So are we part of that? Are we looking or is she looking at us? I absolutely love the, the emotion that goes into the work, as, as, as Eamon would in his architectural work as well, just infuse a sense of place, a sense of feeling, and an emotion into the work. So you, you raise it from more than just bricks or just, just paint. And I think all, all of the work shows that. And I suppose just to finish then, what I'd say is, 
you know, every artist loves to see red dots, um, apart from the obvious <laughs> benefit to the artist. There's also just a huge validation of all that work and effort and putting yourself out there. It's not that easy to put yourself out there, to stand up and put something on the wall for others to, to judge, to hopefully love, which this work speaks for itself. But it, it's, you know, it's, it's not easy. So the red dots are a huge validation of, of that. Now, if you can't perhaps buy one this evening, tell your friends, that's also really important. You spread the word. You just spread the joy and, and word and just yeah, enjoy yeah. this evening. So with that, thank you very much and enjoy. Thank you very much for that fantastic um, um, and very generous um, uh, description. <coughs> And first of all, can I just say to all who are here, you're most welcome to come here. And apart from the painting at all, it's a great opportunity for me anyway, just to feed people that I know and I care for. And you're very welcome to come and enjoy the paintings, you know. And again, the theme of the painting is is Voices of the Irish Landscape. It's just about the whole sense of place, places that we all share. You know, some of them are in North Mayo, some of them are in Kerry, and some of them are in Dublin. But, but they're all ordinary places that we're, we're all trying to see the, the poetic element in things. So just to, that is all up from the prosaic a little bit. And, you know, so that's it. So you're very much. Well. Okay. Wonderful curation of work, and so without this, this wouldn't happen.